Hey friends, Elissa here with Mattress Clarity. As you may know, we are big fans of Nectar mattresses here, but what if you're on a tight budget? Introducing the Sienna. This mattress comes from Nectar and it has all that plush foam comfort you're looking for, but at a low, low price. To help you figure out whether this is the bed of your dreams, I'll go over its firmness, feel, and features. But remember, you can always find more information at mattressclarity.com and some money-saving coupons in the description below. Let's get started. The Sienna mattress is 10 inches tall, which is a bit shorter than most mattresses out there, but again, it is a budget-friendly pick, so it's a pretty good option. The cover is a thin, stretchy, breathable material, which is really great if you're a hot sleeper because it shouldn't trap body heat too much. Underneath this, you'll get to the first comfort layer. This is made with a really slow moving memory foam. You'll see when I press my hand into it, it takes a little bit of time to come back into place. You're gonna get some really great pressure relief and body contouring from this. And underneath is a layer of higher density foam that you can see is sort of built like an egg crate. This is because it'll allow a lot of room for airflow. So yes, memory foam does have a tendency to trap heat, but this cuts it down just a little bit. Underneath this is a thicker layer of high density base support foam. This prevents you from bottoming out on the mattress and it gives you that lumbar support that you need. Here at Mattress Clarity, we always pay close attention to firmness and feel. So the Sienna mattress comes in at six out of 10 on our firmness scale. For reference, six and a half out of 10 indicates the industry standard for medium firm. This means the Sienna mattress feels slightly softer than average, but again, firmness is subjective and it has a lot to do with your body type. But let's talk about what this bed feels like. So it has a thick comfort layer, which means that it's gonna be really slow moving. You can see as I press into it, there's a little bit of my handprint still left. It takes a bit of time for it to come back into place. It has that kind of quicksand sort of feel, so you're gonna feel like you're sleeping in the mattress rather than on top of it. If you're confused, a really good way to show what this feels like is with my handy squash ball. So watch as I drop it from shoulder height. And you can see it really doesn't get a whole lot of bounce. That's because there aren't any coils or springs to make it responsive. A couple bounces and it stays put. And of course, we gotta talk about sleeping positions. When I'm resting on my back on this Sienna mattress, it feels okay for me. I personally, I'm not a huge fan of that kind of quicksand memory foam feel. So I just need something a little bit more supportive. Again, for me, this mattress felt softer than medium firm and just wasn't quite getting that lower back support that I would need. I will say though, when I'm resting on my side, this mattress really shines. That, slow moving memory foam cushions my shoulders and my hips so it'll absorb any sort of pressure that I might feel there. But again, it's not a great pick for stomach sleepers. This mattress, in my opinion, is just too soft. So over time, I know that my hips would start to sink out of alignment, which could lead to lower back pain down the line. I told you my subjective opinion, but let's back it up with some objective tests. We're gonna take a look at what the pressure map has to say. On your screen, you'll see everything from blue, which means no pressure at all, all the way to red, which means that there's a lot of pressure. So let's see what it looks like in each sleeping position. So starting on my back, you'll see that there's a nice array of blue and green. That's exactly what you wanna see. Uh, I could imagine maybe over time, as this mattress softening, you might feel a little bit of pressure, but again, objectively, it looks pretty good. Moving over to my side. So this is interesting because I personally felt the most comfortable in the sleeping position, but if you look closely, there is a little bit of red, a lot of pressure building up in the shoulder area. So that's something to keep in mind because that's a big pressure point. Moving over to my stomach, again, very little pressure happening here, which is awesome. This is a little bit different than what I personally experienced, but you can rest easy knowing that the pressure map says that it should be a-okay. If you share a bed with a partner, you wanna think about your bed's motion isolation. And what this means is if you're resting on one side of the bed and your partner comes in on the other and they start switching sleeping positions in the night, are you gonna feel that movement come over to your side of the bed? 
One way we test this is with a glass of water. So watch as I press into the mattress around it. If you see a lot of movement happening within the glass, that means that this doesn't isolate motion super well. Let's check it out. All right, so I am pushing into the comfort layer. There's a little bit of movement happening in the glass, but it's not too bad. Um, this is an all foam bed, so generally these isolate motion a little bit better than hybrids, but so yeah, a little bit of that happening here, especially as I get closer. I don't anticipate this being an issue for most people, but if you're an especially light sleeper, something to keep in mind. Let's not stop there. Let's also see what it's like in real life. I'm gonna get in on one side of the bed and our video producer, Robbie, is going to get in on the other. And as he switched around and moved on the mattress, I did feel a little bit of that movement come over to my side of the bed. Not a huge deal breaker for me, but if you're an especially light sleeper, that could cause issues down the road. If you share a bed with a partner, you don't just wanna think about motion isolation. You've also gotta think about your bed's edge support. So when you're sitting or lying near the side of the bed, are you gonna feel secure or are you gonna feel like you might roll off? Now, the Sienna mattress's edge support leaves some to be desired. I do sink straight through this pretty well and I'm not an average weight person, so I would imagine if you're taller than me, you would feel this even more. So, you know, I'm decently secure, um, but the real test is gonna be when I'm lying down on this bed. So let's see. Yeah, so if you get really close to the edge on this mattress, you might start to feel like you're gonna roll off a little bit. You'll definitely wanna give yourself a little bit of room from the edge. So this is important if you share a bed with a partner because that means both of you will have to sleep a little bit closer to the center. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. I'm a larger person than Elissa, and you definitely want to think about your size and weight when you're looking at a mattress. So I want to give my experience with the Sienna mattress. First off, in terms of firmness, I thought it was firmer than Alyssa did. I thought it was closer to a 7 out of 10, a little bit firmer than average. That's because, again, I'm a larger person. I'm probably pressing further into this mattress, feeling more firmness than Elissa did. Now, speaking of sleeping position, starting on my back, an okay match for me, again, it is firmer than average for me, but overall, I probably need more support from a mattress for heavy people. Moving to my side, also, it is firmer for me, so not as good pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. And moving to my stomach, not quite enough support under my hips. I'm blowing in there a little bit, and I'm getting out of alignment. Overall, probably not the best option for heavy people. I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons of the Sienna mattress, starting with the good stuff. First of all, this mattress is an excellent choice for lightweight people. If you weigh less than 130 pounds, you should feel comfy in just about every sleeping position. This is also a spectacular choice if you're on a budget. These mattresses are super affordable, will not break the bank. And finally, Sienna mattresses have great company policies. There's a generous sleep trial period and warranty so you can rest easy. But of course, we can't talk about the good things without also touching on some of the cons. So this mattress isn't the best choice for heavier folks. If you weigh more than 150, 160 pounds, you might sink into this comfort layer quite a bit, which means that you won't get that comfort that you need. This mattress also isn't the best choice for people who tend to overheat at night. There aren't a whole lot of built-in cooling features, and because it's entirely made out of foam, it might trap body heat as time goes on. And finally, the Sienna mattress isn't great if you're looking for a very durable, long-term solution. You know, it's a lot cheaper, you could save a lot of money, but that also means it may not last as long. Let's talk about Sienna's company policies. First of all, they do offer free shipping and free returns, and they have a 180 night sleep trial period that gives you plenty of time to try it out from the comfort of your home to see whether it works for you. Also, there's a 10 year warranty and financing is available. Well, that's about it. Remember, if you need more in-depth mattress information, you'll find it at mattressclarity.com along with some money-saving coupons. See you next time. Oh,